also got some little snail. Go ahead, Spud. Attack. Hello? Hello? What the hell? Dude, oh. now for the main event. Are you ready to see? Now, I don't know why they did such dramatic effect of washing sand, but what up Slayers? The dogs are barking, someone's here, but today we are looking at, why is this yellow? I must hit the wrong setting, but we are looking at our dudes right here. What is going on, Spud? Now, the title of this video is Fire, and I will address it later, but don't worry. If you watch this whole video, you will get to see what is really going on with our buddy, Polywag. Now, as requested, let's go ahead and brighten Spud's tank up right now. There we go, buddy. What's up, my dude? You're looking all types of right, all types of cool. Wow, he has sand, you know. But what ends up happening is, as I continue to pick up his remains and stuff like that from previous feedings, I'm running out of sand. So I took your guys' advice and I got him some more sand. That's the point of this. I would like to go ahead and see him get all buried up. The sand is a uh, now it's on my hands. Now that sucks. But the sand is the exact same substrate that I had before in there. And I want to like to see him completely buried because you guys want to see that too. Now, I like to have him out and about because I want to be able to find them for videos. But you know what? I listen to my slayers and I go ahead and do what they want for the most part. So we're going to go ahead and add some sand. And also, how can I forget? Also got some little snails. Hello, Mr. Snail. Now, guys, these snails are just from the local pet store and stuff like that. Now I have put them in here before, not these snails, but snails as requested because you guys may think I don't feed spud snails, but I do. Thing is, every time I'm not recording, he crushes them. Let's go ahead and see if he crushes them. Wait, how about I go ahead and add the sand first. I'm gonna put these snails over here. Hey, what's up Ninja? What's up dude, you're looking all types of right. I added a different heater. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can power feed him in the future. So we can get him looking all types of big and a stud. What's up, bro? What's going on? We might feed you in this vid too. I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. But ew. This snail. Focus. This snail is creeping me out. Look at him. Let me go. So I'm going to just put you right there. You'll just wait until I add the sand. Now, guys, I'm thinking about, let me know in the comments below if I should go ahead and start breeding them. I might just go ahead and breed them. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But let's go ahead and see what happens with this, these snails after I add the sand. Here is our sand. There is our spud. Time to bury him. Go forth, my friend. Be free. Da -da -da -da. Goodbye, spud. <laughs> He's like, oh no! What's happening? So much sand! But now we're adding more for you, buddy. So you can hide completely. <laughs> He's freaking out. I hate doing this to him, but guys, it's going to be super cool when he ambushes his prey when he's completely covered. Our boy has calmed down and stuff like that. It might be time to see if he likes his snails. Now, he has eaten snails. I said that already. I said it. He's a little spooked right now because of the new sand, but he'll get used to it. We're going to add a little bit more sand afterwards because it's a five-pound bag of substrate. Now, let's go ahead and get our snails. All right, buddy. Let's see what you got. Go forth. Go eat, my friends. Go ahead, Spud. Attack. Spud? Attack Spud. Spud. Guys. Spud. Well, that's kind of annoying. He usually goes right at him. I mean, the snails are moving around, you see? But he usually goes right for him. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess in the meantime, I have pet snails. So while they're my pets, go ahead and name them. You know what I'm saying? Jack and Jill, Bob and Bill. Whatever you want to go ahead and name, we'll go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and change our focus to Ninja over here. I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick for you guys. Here's my finger. Ninja, come over here, my friend. There you go. See? Now he is 100% trained, guys. It's going to be awesome. We're going to do a lot more hand feedings because it's super cool. So now, let's go ahead and check out our tadpole. Okay, Slayer, so now we made it. Now, time to reveal the real reason for this video and the main title of it. We're messing with Spud's tank, adding more sand. You guys saw the snails. 
I worked on this snail, so to your advice, which I've been giving him snails, I've seen him eat it. I was hoping he would do it on camera, but it didn't work out. So, with that being said, now, for the main event. Guys, look. So I went ahead, and here is some crate that I had left over from Ninja's tank from before. There's the egg crate right there. And I added this plant here. I'm not showing where, I just took it out so then you can see. It's like a fake hydrilla. It's perfect. Now, for the main event, are you ready to see Poliwag? Oh man, he's so cool. Check it out, guys. It's pretty insane what he's done. Oh, he's crazy. He's nutting this as cover. But look at his patterns. He is beautiful, guys. And look right here. I'm not going to get my phone wet, but I'm going to zoom in. He has arms. He has evolved, guys. He's evolved. That means I've gotten a little bit of rain. So therefore, mosquito lover have fallen. And on top of that, I have fed him a special little recipe. Now, this recipe is just lettuce. Simple as that. You guys go ahead. If you guys are taking care of tadpoles, the easiest way to do this is grab some lettuce, chop it up, which I'll show it right now. What I was saying, guys. So I had my mother go ahead and boil some lettuce for me. You just sit there, let it wither, and then also cool it down so you don't burn your tadpole at all. But this is exactly what they eat. Oh, it's hot. Oh, got it. So it's like a little warm, very hot leaf. You just cool it down and feed it to your pet tadpole. See, and also don't forget to boil it for like 10 minutes. And on top of boiling it, give it to our friend. I have some left over. I'm going to go ahead and grab that right now. Wait, before I even do that, before I even grab that, I had to ask my friend an expert an expert expert to come through guys i think you might know him now, going back to the crate setup and everything like that i still have those bubblers that aeration's well more than enough for that guy but look at him he's doing so good i also got a little cup drained some water out flicked it out there and stuff like that so he had more room because now there's more room right here there are the rocks right here and then our guy right here now technically he's a froglet technically he's a froglet so that means He's an involved version of the polywog because he has arms and then he soon will evolve again and get lungs. That's why we have that dry area so he can walk up and he doesn't like drown and stuff like that. So, oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for him to change and walk you guys through everything that I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Nice. You want cover. You want cover. I had this little fake hydrilla and everything's all moved around and I wanted to show you guys when I actually got it. But here. I put this over and I move everything. It's kind of hard to do everything with one hand, but I move everything over and look at that cover. It's perfect. And I have that lid so that nothing gets in. None of my dogs won't go ahead and take a little lick from the water and get sick like that because this is super stagnant. It's just aerated water. And our guy is changing colors. I'm going to take him out very, very soon so we can find out what species he is, guys. Everyone said in the comments in the previous video, if you guys haven't checked that one out already, that he is an American bullfrog. Just like I said, everyone agrees with me and I appreciate that. But we brought in an expert, guys. I have an expert friend who, who specializes in all things slimy, creepy, cool. They crawl, they slide around, they make hissing noises. My friend Chandler. My friend Chandler, who was supposed to pop, what was that? Who was supposed to pop there, what, hello? Chandler. Get out of here. The hell? Hello? Hello? What the hell? Dude, are you okay? Hold on, hold on, guys. For that, you have to subscribe to his channel, Channels That's Wildlife. Going. That was insane. I did not expect him to be out of a tree. The whole plan was for him to pop up next to me. And you know what? He took it to the top. It was a rabbit kookaburra in the tree, and I had to go check him out. Mine. <laughs> this guy's the man. See, he goes above and beyond to bring you guys that fire content. Now, check this out, my man. Can you identify our new pet polywog who will soon, don't forget, evolve? And we shall call him Polywog. It's a bullfrog. You can't, you can't I, even have my... Let me have my I, moment. I, I was a bullfrog. It's it, wait, just, just wait. Let me have my moment. Okay, so like I said, supposed to evolve to Polyworld like a Pokemon. It's so excited. It's so exciting, and I'm so excited for you guys. Now, it's going to evolve to be a bullfrog. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyways, we brought the expert, who is also a fun, cool guy. He's a good friend of mine. You saw him hold that as an alligator. Oh, my hand. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see your snakes, bro. I got to come over. Yeah, cobras. 
Okay, but for real, bro, you really think it's a bullfrog? Oh yeah, that's a bullfrog. I, I'm pretty dead set too on the bullfrog, so. The, the thing is, with a lot of uh, pet stores and fish farms, the thing is when they breed these fish for the, the big pet shops like Petco, Pet Supermarket, they have contracts to get from these fish farms. Well, these fish farms are sometimes on the outskirts of neighborhoods, near the Everglades, or maybe in certain areas where there's swamp. You have bullfrogs, they're breeding, they use those big tanks that they breed the fish in for the tadpoles or eggs, they incubate in there. Sometimes the tadpoles get scooped up and sent off to the pet shops, and that's how you got this guy. Well, it was at a bait shop, right? Yeah, it was a bait shop. Yeah, so it was probably being bred out for bait, and uh, then the bullfrogs decided that's a good tank to lay some eggs in, and they hatched out, and the tadpoles started scurrying around, they got scooped up with the bait. Wow, that is quite the mouthful, my friend. See, this is why you're the man, because I can't do any. Oh, I can't, I can't do any of that. But he said everything that is completely true. I just said it in the small Joey Slam version, saying we just got it at a bait store. With that being said, guys, check him out, Polywag. You shall evolve the Polly world. I'm so excited, bro. Has he been benching or or doing a lot of like pull-ups? He's quite swole, actually. He's been doing squats. Look, look at, at his those little, legs. Look at his little, look at oh, he's flexing, bro. He's pushing me away. He's like enough. Enough, son. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold him. I'm not really a proponent of holding him that much because I don't want to stress him out. But Chandler, can you do the honors? Of oh, course, I'm of zoomed course. in on your face. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. No, can you do the honors? So, what you want to do? No, no, no. I want to hold my pet bullfrog. So, I'm wetting my hands, making sure that we don't do anything crazy to our bullfrog right here. Come on, my friend. Check this out. Look at our guy. He has little, little arms. They're very, very mobile you see him moving them guys you saw the video before which will be linked below he did not have any single upper extremities or anything like that does he walk can you walk my friend check this out dude isn't he the coolest he's the best let's see if we get him in the light because he's a little dark right now check him out guys you guys see that right there dude he has little little arms little arms right here oh He's hiding them and he has this big, big, big hind legs. I don't want him to jump. I'm going to put him inside, but take a look on this side. He's all flexed out and stuff. He looks beautiful. There's his arms right there so you guys can see that. Dude, that is so cool. Man, I'm so happy to have that. I can't wait until you evolve. Oh, man. Thanks for your help, Chandler, by the way. Of course, man. I got you. Go ahead and put this guy inside. Be free, my friend, into your oasis. Daddy. 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 That's awesome. Are you having fun with that? I'm having a lot of fun with Are you actually good with that? Uh, somewhat. This is the lasso I would use to transport alligators when I catch them out of ponds and relocate them to a new enclosure. I thought it was like this. I thought this was just a party. No, a, no, a party is, city this costume. Lasso, if you look at it, it's been through thick and thin. It's it's dirty. It's got tape holding it together. Oh, it's for real. See, he yeah. is the real deal, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. Check him out. He's the man. And I got my redis. Yes, lettuce. No, stop. Not for you. It's actually really bad. Oh, yeah. So it's cooled down, withered, good to go. Mr. Polywag, will you eat, my friend? Eat something on camera? Maybe? Find out? I don't know. But this is crazy, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to my friend Chandler. I'm going to be heading to his house probably today, tomorrow, another day. I'm not too sure. And checking out his snakes and his whole snake room and all that type of stuff. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Oh, God.